Shalom, it's your brother Yahweh Ah coming again with another lesson. All right, giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chachkodash, and that's the true ancient blood. The true ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue, the Lord spoken ancient of days, all right, which the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. All right, and the heavenly, the heavenly Father name in Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh. All right, and Bahashem means in the name of, coming in the name of. And Yahweh Shah is the name of the uh, of the Son, our Deliverer. All right, and Yahweh means He exists, and Yahweh Shah means Deliverer, man, because He's going to deliver the hundred four four thousand, hundred four forty four thousand elect. All right, those who sincerely believe and and, and know His name and keeping the lost statutes commandments to the best of their ability in these last days. All right, let's also give double honors to the elders and apostles across the four corners of the earth, who we know in truth, who we know uh, who has the full truth. All right. Uh, also, citation to the elder of my camp, Chazak, who I teach on in the Camp of Men of Israel here in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, and also, Shalom to you, Akko Nakwa, you men and women who believes what and uh, who believes keeping the law, statutes, the law, statutes, and commandments sincerely. To the last days. And with that, I'm going to get into it. The title of this lesson will be entitled uh, Great Terrible Death Coming to America, man. All right. Because this will be a great and terrible death. All right. And in, in, in this land, man. Babylon, the great spiritual Babylon and great in Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. We see these things. We see these signs. We know it's getting very close to the end. All right, the uproars of wars and, and rumors of wars. All right, the earth is is uh, having birth pains with great earthquakes, great uh, great uh, earthquakes and uh, uh, what you call it, tsunamis and storms, all types of things. Man, the Lord is allowing things to seep out and uh, you know make His interest in destruction, man, and killing. Okay. The crisis of, 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 of the countries, the government systems are collapsing. No one trusts their government. No one trusts their food. No one trusts their safety, man. This is the wake-up call that the Lord is allowing to have on certain individuals, man. This is why you must come seek the Heavenly Father. This is why if you are seeking, uh, be quickened within your spirit, man. All right? And this is for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right. <clears throat> which is in the which is in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, which we take upon the curses due to the curse of Deuteronomy 28. All right. <clears throat> and without further ado, I'm going to get into it. Got two videos. I'm probably going to have to share, you know, just to make the lesson a little bit better. It's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. This is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students. The demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. It's done by Americans to Americans, thanks to lack of moral standards. The next stage is destabilization. It takes only from two to five years to destabilize a nation. What matters is essentials, economy, foreign relations, defense systems. Uh, the next stage, of course, is crisis. It, it, it may take only up to six weeks to, to bring a country to the verge of crisis. And after crisis, with a violent change of, of power, structure, and economy, you have normalization. It may last indefinitely. This is... You know, and he's not lying because... We see babies get killed. We see people get shot. Young kids getting shot by the police. All right. The elderly still getting killed by the police. Robbed. Rape and murder still goes on. Pedophilia is allowed in this place. And at a certain time, that was a, a big O and a big, you know, concern. Now it's just normalized. Now everybody just here. And it's like, yep, another one. Yep. There go another one. It ain't, it ain't even that no more. It's just, damn, you know. And you keep moving on. Like nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody give. Nobody. Nobody gives a a certain a certainty about things. They don't question stuff no more. They just go with the flow. They do whatever the wave is. Whatever. Whatever people more focused on, which is entertainment. All right. And more aiming on my people, so called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. 
our people are are docile, man. They're they inflicted with the wickedness of this place, man. The things, uh, the fornication of this place, all the the false, the false teachings, all the religions, all the um, the different practices and doctrines that they are performing upon themselves and and rituals they're doing upon themselves, man. To to gain wealth, to gain uh, success, or to gain control, man, or to uh, be a part of something that is dark. They're doing anything and everything to make it, man. They're trying to run away from the curses. They're trying to escape the curses of doing Rama 28, man. And you can't. This is a place where we must be punished, man. This is a place of punishment. We have our oppressors over us, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, all right, which is the wicked of the earth, man. Everywhere he went, he conquered, pillaged, and destroyed. And, uh, and, 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 and rearranged things. This man has poisoned the soil. This man has poisoned the air. This man has poisoned the water. This man has poisoned the fucking mind and the body, man. This man is the most wickedest person on earth. That whole nation, man. That's why anytime this truth comes out, man, they they they, they run away or they try to they try to uh, act as though that they don't know anything or we're with or, or the truth is is madness or it, it's it's us. Uh, uh, anytime you bring truth around a so called white man or woman. They just throw up the love, the, the, the love doctrine of, of God loves, God loves, you're hate, you're hate, you know, when you throw these things out there. Oh, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. And that's only a, uh, to swipe you away from waking those who are asleep up, man. All right. This is this is how the enemy manures itself. That's how they do this shit. That's how they keep you blind. That's how they keep you asleep. All right. They come sneaking upon you, man, like a like a, a like a lion. All right. And they smooth with their words, they smooth with the way how they go about it. Even when they're frustrated and nervous, they go about it in a smooth manner. Because this is how this is how the, their spirit is, man. They're a fucking serpent. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> and they do all these things in front of you and you don't realize because you're so fucking you're so fucking gullible. Our people are so dumb and simple that they don't care nothing about only thing they care about is smoking weed, getting high, and busting down a woman. And as long as they got a good job, they're good. They don't. They don't want to rule. They don't want to understand what it is to be a nation of people, man. Okay. You tell them that they're Hebrew Israelites. They don't. They don't want. They don't want to hear that shit. No, only thing they want to hear is how can I make some money? All right. And we're gonna get into that just a little bit. But I want y'all to see these videos to understand. This is the situation our people are in, in this place, in this in this nation, Babylon and Greek. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all these schmucks to bring the country to crisis, to promise people all kind of goodies and the paradise on earth. I promise you. Uh, to, to destabilize your uh, economy, to eliminate the principle of free market competition, and to put a big brother government in Washington, D.C., your leftists, all these professors and all these beautiful civil rights defenders, they are instrumental in the process of the subversion only to destabilize the nation. A new report warns more than half of the U.S. could face dangerous blackouts and outages this winter. Regulators from the North American Electric Reliability Corporation say the nation's power grid is not up to the challenge of rapidly rising energy demands amid increasingly severe winter storms and extreme cold. The strain could cause the system to snap, setting parts of the country up for a repeat of last year's energy emergencies. A new report warns more than... Anybody know who Willie Lynch was? Anybody? Raise your hand. Now, I showed you what's going on in the world. I showed you what was happening in America. And it's way much more. You can look it up on yourself, man. It's wars. You know, Russia is ready to battle and send nukes over here. You know, so it's the other Soviet Union countries that's united with the Soviet Union or, or joined with the Soviet Union. All right, because they're pissed at this place, America, Babylon the Great. All right, there's other things you can find out. How this place is going to fall, man. The dollar bill, the economy, you know, the, the recession, the uh, when I when this is not even called a recession. This is more of a, a uh, what it is that we are in a recession. But this is now uh, what do they call it, man? Um, 
Um, it's something close to recession, but it's like how they milk it down. Um, and it'll come to me later, but basically, man, you can always look up these things and see what's going on, man. The news don't, the news always got something for you. And if the news don't tell you, man, it's, it's always things you can just look around and see. YouTube is always telling you know, America's business, man, what they're doing. And how we're gonna, how this place is gonna fall, man, due to the the um, the rulers, all right, those who are uh, in the in, sitting in the in the high chair in the seats, who's running the, and running this place, the Rockefellers, the Bill Gates family, uh, the Rothschilds, all those people, man, more, okay, those these royal families in in Rome and in um, United Kingdom, Britain, and Germany, man, these people are ruling this place, especially those uh, Amaleks. Those uh, so-called Jewish people, all right, they have their hand in all of it, man. They have their hand in all of it. The people who say they're Jews, but they're not. They they run this place, man, and they know who we are, all right. And this video right here, you know, talks about the Willie uh, Lynch letter, all right. How uh, back in the day, man, uh, slave owner who came to tell other slave owners how to break the minds. Of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native, Indian, Native Indians, man, to keep the body strong and to weaken the mind to hate one another, and that's how our people are today. All right, this is this is witchcraft, bro. This is this is fucking witchcraft and sorcery because our people are like that today, and it's more prominent. You see it, you know, on your daily days, just walking around. You see how our people are spiritually. All right, so who's to tell? Who's who's for anyone to say that this is not true? All right, unless they just that damn dumb. But, you know, let's play it. No one. He was a vicious slave owner in the West Indies. The slave masters in the colony of Virginia were having trouble controlling their slaves, so they sent for Mr. Lynch to teach them his methods. The word lynching came from his last name. His methods were very simple, but they were diabolical. Keep the slave physically strong, but psychologically weak and dependent on the slave master. Keep the body, take the mind. I and every other professor on this campus are here to help you to find, take back, and keep your righteous mind. Because obviously, you have lost it. And we're going to end it with that, with the videos. And, you know, even though that's Denzel Washington, the actor, man, understand that the true prophets are here today, man, coming back. All right. Waking up in the last days in our captivity, knowing who we are. OK, knowing uh, coming back to the covenant that was given to us, man, coming back to this truth, knowing who our true power is, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. Knowing that, well, the true Hebrew is uh, true Hebrew Israelites, all right, according to the Bible, Deuteron Deuteronomy twenty eight, okay, and we know that we know who our power is, man. We know this truth, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding the Lord has given us, man. The prophets understands these scriptures and breaks down these scriptures, man, to help edify our people of of reminding them of who they are, all right, righteously keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, righteously coming back into. The understanding, renewing our mind from the the um the things that were told and given to us by our oppressors. All right, and when uh, I'm gonna go into the scriptures now, and to get um, uh, I think it's Ephesians. Let me figure. Uh, I think it's yeah, six and twelve. Let me see. All right. This says uh, Ephesians chapter six and verse eleven says, "Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the willies of the devil." All right, we know the devil, and in, in, uh, in Latin means uh, deceiver, man, diabolos, deceiver, and we know who who's been deceiving us through centuries, man, the so-called white man. All right, which is um, his name in the scriptures is called Esau Edom, which is the wicked. All right. And verse 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers. And who is these principalities and powers? Your governors, your presidencies, all right, your, the, the Supreme Court, all the rulers who is rule, ruling over those things, 
in 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 those things, even to those things that are hidden in secret, that has the powers and, and principalities, man. Those things to what against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places, and we know, like I said, the Rockefellers, the Rock, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Bill Gates family, and so on and so on, man. We all know this, man. So. This is the thing, man. Everything has been scripted in the scriptures. I'm going to go into second edges now. And uh, we're going to talk about how America is going to be destroyed, man. And systematically, uh, not systematically, but uh, men the mentality of our people who rebel against this truth. And we warn them not to, you know, go after the things of this world, not to be a partakers of the things of this world. And believing in, in the in the things, believing man's wisdom over over righteous wisdom, which is in the scriptures. All right, you're you're told to to be uh, obedient. Okay, you're told to uh, to hearken to the word of the Lord. This is Second Edges chapter fifteen. It says, from the top, behold, speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. All right. So the Lord has put these things in our mouth. Oh, you guys can't judge me. You guys shut up. Yes, we can, man. We're not even this is not even us judging. This is judgment from the heavenly father, man. We we're just men. The Lord has chosen to 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 deliver his word. OK, it says and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Man, a man wrote that book, man, a man wrote that book. Yeah. But you believe in all this other spirituality bullshit. With the um, the zodiacs and uh, uh, what you call that man, the the everybody believing in the universe stuff and all this madness, man. You know they believe all those spiritual things, but don't believe the Lord has chosen certain men to have His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to teach and to be able to write these things in the book. This is this is this is the uh, the simplicity of our people, man. The mind state that they're in. Of the leaning ledge because it's their people they they, they can't they can't see it as just something to be in to, to 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 take seriously man this is this is the mindset continuing on in second edges fifteen chapter uh ch second edges chapter fifteen verse three says fear not the imaginations to get thee against thee um let thee not incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And we're not letting nobody who don't who have no understanding try to hurt us or come against us. Man, we know we have to we have to understand the full truth. All right. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get uh Isaiah fifty eight and one, man. Oops. All right, it says and Isaiah chapter 58 from the top says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins, man, which is all the Israel, man, all the Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, man, to show our people what they're doing wrong, why they should stop doing the things that they're doing, believe it in, in stone and, and wood, you know, thinking that they have to have these items to to connect to to the um to to the heavenly Father, uh, carrying the cross, wearing the cross, getting rose marys and uh uh pictures and, and bound down the pictures and stones and, and statues, man. These things are forbidden. All right, when we tell you these things are forbidden, and because oh well, we've been doing it for so long, yeah, because you've been lost so long. You've been you've been the Lord has the Lord has put strong delusion upon you, but now it's a time to to. Um, to refrain yourself of these things and to, and to come out of that state. But what our people do? They don't listen, man. Uh, let me go to Isaiah 30 and 1. Speaking of not listening. All right. And then Isaiah chapter 30 and from the top says, Woe to the rebellious children. And we know that woe goes into destruction. Destruction, destruction to the rebellious children, says the Lord, Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover what they covering, but not of my spirit. And what is a covering of a covering, man? 
believe in all believe in all these other things, being open minded to all all kinds of um religion and all types of um, different practices, man. That's contrary to the scriptures that the scriptures tell you not to do, but you still do them, you know, continuing on says, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. Well, the Lord, why, why would the Lord put it here if we ain't supposed to do it? Why would the Lord allow this to happen if we ain't supposed to be partakers of it? Because the Lord is, is the Lord is, is, is a balanced, is a balanced God. If there is, if there is. If there's righteousness, then there should also be wickedness. If there's angels, then there are also devils. If there's a ground, then there's also a sky. The Lord is a perfect a perfect being, man. Who are you to question him? It says, continuing on in verse 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked of my mouth. And we know that, that going down into Egypt is going into America, man, the ways of America. All right. To do as you please, to have free will, to be able to pick and choose whether you want to be a man or a woman or rather you want to uh, uh, be a be a be a drug, you know, whatever, man, whatever you want to be that America has put in your head that you can be living a dream or whatever that shit is that that's your that's your thing. That's what you have to do that you that you can trust in these governments. To give you your wick and your um your things in need because you you don't want to um do your part or whatever your case may be to where you don't you know you just lazy or lazy as in not wanting to to put forth any effort in, in understanding anything of this truth man and not want to be educated wanting to be part of the world doing the most simplest things you know. Not 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 educating yourself, and this is a wrong with our people. It, they they so used to just you know sitting around not doing anything and not educating themselves, but have a mouth beak that goes so damn far when their feelings get hurt. It says that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked of, uh, at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of the Pharaoh and strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And what our people do anytime something go wrong, you know, that they, they, they trust that the court, the court system is going to help them, um, help them. They trust that the police officer is going to help whoever did something to them or, or whatever the case may be in, in a situation that they'd be protected instead of, you know, calling upon an enemy. How about me? I was shy. All right. They think that, oh, that's going to take too long. Oh, that's just this and that. But if you read in the scriptures, the Lord came, man. Those who were diligent to him, those who were sincere to him, he came for his people, man. But our people are selfish, man. They want things They want things on their terms and their time. And they don't want to, to, to uh, understand what is it to endure, to have patience. They continue on, it says, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right. How you trust in the shadow, man? You follow behind it, all right. Is 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 it? It's if it's if as it's you walking, and you the shadow, all right. A person in front of you, you 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 just doing whatever it does, whatever wave it is, you're gonna follow it. That's that's the shadow. It says therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And see that the blind leads the blind, man. All right, all you you wanna you wanna vote for these presidents and these senates, all right? You think these people are really here for us? You really think these people are here for us? This this eagle, this bird, that's been exalted high, you know, in this country, with the wing of the republic and the wing of the democrat, it's the same damn bird. All right, they work with each other, but it's the it's the it's the fool you to think that you have any rights when they already have full control over you. You already got a social security. You already got a license and registration. You are already paying taxes. You are already control. So what fucking freedom are you fighting for when you voting for these damn puppets? This is the this is the confusion. Okay. Continuing on. <clears throat> and Job thirty six. Let's grab that. This is Job thirty six. And verse five. I think that's what I'm getting. 
Yep. It says, Behold, Yahweh is mighty and despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. He per, he per, uh, preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right to the poor. And who are the poor, man? Those who, those those poor people are represented as his his uh, of the believers, his saints, man. All right, those who who have lost everything for his sake, those who have sacrificed everything for his sake, those are the poor and the lonely and the lowly, man. All right, the house of sorrow. All right, those who complain to the Lord daily. You know, about the things they have to go through in this in this man's kingdom, Esau Edom's kingdom, man. That that rule of unrighteously. Everything that that's that's surrounded us is surrounded by uh pork and and and, and filled with, 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 with uh uh lust and sex and all types of distractions, man, to keep us uh in a in a fucking low state, okay? Working working nine to fives and, and don't see it. Don't see no paper, man. Don't see no no kind of money. All right, these are the low, these are the low and the poor, man. These are the ones who have to, you know, who understands what's going on and understands who their power is. Woken up from their sleeps, man. These are the poor. All right, and he said he preserved not for the life of the wicked, man. So if you want to be the shadow after Egypt, then you're gonna be desert. You're gonna be destroyed. Point blank and period, man. I just want to say that and bring that scripture out because. You know, the Lord, the Lord knows, man, he is mighty. He despises not any. He said he is mighty in strength and wisdom, man. The Lord controls all things, man. The Lord orchestrates and does all these things. He put the enemy where he he sees where you need strength and he takes him away. He lifts up. He brings up and he brings down, man. He he maketh king. He maketh kings ruleth and he brings down kings, man. The Lord is in control of all these things. Okay. But the destruction of America is not, nah, man. It's very not. Nah. And our people are not seeing that. They're not waking up to that. <clears throat> because they're stuck in their own ways. <clears throat> then I'm going to get John. Chapter 12. And verse 48. It says, He that rejecteth me and receive not my words have one that judges them. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. You see that? Whoever rejects the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You, you're rejecting. He says, he that rejecteth me and receive not my words have one that judge him. You see that? And who is the one that's going to judge you? The one he sent. The one who, 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 has, who he has given his, uh, his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to. All right. Those who are prophesying in the highways and byways. All right, who show their faces and risking their lives daily, man, for the Lord. All right. So we know that who 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 who's setting out the judgments, man. Like I read that verse earlier, man. It says, cry aloud, spare not. In Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1, this is what we do. We spare not. We don't care about your feelings. We don't care how, how bad we make you feel because you, with the things that you've done, man. Start carrying hold on your burdens, man, and learn how to understand the Lord forgives. Okay. But you have to repent from your um your your um your addictions, man. You have to stop doing these things, man. You have to be quick into your spirit and know, look, no more. You can't do it, no matter what. No excuses. Okay. But continuing on, chapter uh, John chapter twelve for, uh, verse forty eight. He that rejected me and receiving not my words have one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. The law, statute, commandments are done away with. So why he says this? And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whosoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, I, Sisalakia, so I speak. You see that? It's not us just telling you, it's the Heavenly Father, man, within us telling you these things that you which you must not do. All right, because with, since we have believed in his word, he lives within us. And so does the son, man. It's spiritual, man. It's all spiritual. <clears throat> we come to 
to do what we have to do. We're waking up through the spirit to warn our people, man, because we see destruction in this place, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. All right. We see this place falling. We see the things that are finna happen. We know Jacob's trouble is coming. <clears throat> and we have to warn our people so we won't be held accountable. All right. Continuing on. Second address, chapter 15, verse 6. All right. And it reads, it says, <clears throat> let me read it on. Uh, Let me read it on. Let me see. In verse five, it says, um, all right, to start at verse four. All right, Second Edges chapter 15, verse 4 says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, says the Lord, Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, says the Lord, man. So there's no looking for, oh, the Lord's coming, he's going to rapture us up, and we're going to heaven. We belongs, we believe in his name. No, that shit is bullshit. If you ain't if you ain't keeping the, the Sabbath, you ain't keeping the holy days, and you ain't you up here still eating lots of shrimp and pork and all this bullshit, you're gonna be put to damn death. Especially if you don't know the true name of the Heavenly Father. I don't give a fuck what, what miracle happened in your life speaking in that Jesus shit. But hey, the law allowed you to be deceived, so it was never meant for you to have the truth. So Understand how harsh that could be, but at the same token, the Lord can be that same. Because the Lord, what it says in Deuteronomy, it says, "For I bring, for I, um, for I'm a, uh, for what it says, roughly paraphrasing, uh, for I, um, man, let me see." Baba Kasha, just bear with me. I'm just trying to be more edifying. The Lord control of all these things. If so I make alive, I kill. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39 to 34 says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound. And I heal. Neither is, neither is there any that can deliver out my hand. See that? The Lord allows all these things. And also it says, and you know, another scripture says, for I, for I come to bring strong delusion, man. So, you know, if you're not if you're not seeking the Heavenly Father, man, you're gonna be strong delusion. You're gonna believe in aliens, you're gonna believe all kind of stuff, you know, and and, and, and fucking fairy tale creatures. Cause your ass gonna be so bugged out, you gonna you gonna think that everything is happening for you. Oh, I was saved by a man with a bubbly arm, and he came and sold to me in bubbly words. I couldn't understand, but he let me be, and he let me. You know, some I, I, you know, we had a woman, you know, who was prophesying, saying some silly ass stuff like that, and you know, it's very it's very sad that our people comes up to us with this type of mindset. And how simple they are. But back to the lesson, man. The destruction is here, man. Our people are going to be lost. Our people are going to be confused, man. Because they fall out to their oppressors. They love their oppressors. All right. <clears throat> this is uh, 2nd Andrew chapter 15, verse 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. 
but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So we know he ain't talking about what he's done with Moses, you know, when Moses took his people, took the people out of uh, Egypt. He's talking about this spiritual Egypt. All right. Here in Babylon, the great, it says, as before, and I will destroy all the land thereof, it says Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. It says they that till the ground shall mourn for their seeds shall fail through the blood, the blasting and hail and with a fearful constellation, man. Knowing that they're and they're they're not gonna have any way to grow their own food, to to do what they want to do. All these people who over here talking about prepare, 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 man. You're not gonna have the time to prepare for the Lord's finna bring, man. This is finna be the worst thing ever, the worst thing ever. If you don't got your house by Shmi Alsha, you're already fucked. But uh, continuing on, this is uh, Second Edges chapter fifteen verse fourteen it says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein." For the sword and their destruction draw off not, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. This is people who saying, fuck going to jail, fuck calling the police, fuck, you t fuck who you know. I want to kill you, and I'm going to take your shit because I'm hungry and my kid's hungry. You know, this is going to be the crisis that's been that's going to be put upon all you people. Who so called disbelievers or Christianity people? I don't, I don't got it. Y'all, y'all, listen, y'all. All right, this is finna happen to y'all. Okay, this is finna happen to you and your damn dog. You, 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 um, you women who who hate men and only want them for their money. All right, and so as you, you wicked ass Jakes that's out there as well, man. Who out here tricking on these women and treating them like dogs, man. All right, all y'all finna have y'all 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 time of, of of humiliation and death, great death, man. Okay, it says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, which is whatever they do to you, ain't nothing gonna happen to no, ain't nothing gonna happen to it. Ain't gonna be no rescue team come to save your ass or somebody come busting in your shit, demanding your goddamn your your resources, man, your goods, your water, whatever you got that they need to sustain themselves. They don't give a fuck. As long as they taking it, and you better not move, better not do something. You try to play a goddamn hero, your ass gonna be a motherfucking dead ass, you no know, dead ass bug on a wall, just swatted. This is uh verse seventeen says a man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able, man. And as you've seen in the video, man, as I had shown earlier, it says America will be divided into four sections, man. So you know if you ever seen the Hunger Games, you see all the uh, divisions that they had. This is. Something similar to that, man. Uh, America will be divided. If we already know the MOTB will be omitted, all right, for the rich and the poor, okay, for them to have it so to, to be able to buy goods, all right. We know that uh, martial law will be um, uh, implemented, okay, which is major super surveillance and, you know, concentration camps. All these things, man, are going to be uh, unfolding upon us at a rapid pace. You got AI robots. You know, we got all type of things that's coming. All right. You got all type of control that's coming, man. All kind of sickness and more sickness and more crazy shit coming. All right. That you ain't going to ever thought you will see in this place. And you ain't, and it's going to be in this place more than you've ever seen in any other place, man. So this shit is coming. It's coming here, man. It's coming to you. All right. Second Andrew chapter 15, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. You see that? Ain't no more. I'm a, I'm hard shit. Ain't no more of that. Uh, uh Ain't no more. I'm hard shit. Ain't no more street nigga shit. Ain't no more none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when the Lord, when the Lord brings his punishment upon this place, you niggas going to be afraid. Yeah, you niggas gonna be afraid. You hard, you hardcore niggas gonna be shitting diamonds out your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Them hard stone kidney stones out your ass. Okay, I'm tired of I'm tired of Jake acting like he can't be fucking touched, man. But meanwhile, when the adversary come around, your ass run and duck and hide. You know this is that Lenny Lynch, Lenny uh Lenny uh Willie uh Lynch letter shit again, once again, bro. 
they they love to look down upon their own people, but when Esau come around, they show they 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 tuck they tighten up and respect them. This is how you know that that shit still exists today. Verse nineteen says, "A man a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword and spoil their their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation, man. All that all that troubles, all that hardness are coming upon them. They stress." So they're going to do the most abominable shits. They're going to do the most craziest things, man. You're going to see all kind of shit going on, all type of shit playing out. And you ain't going to be able to stop it because the Lord is allowing it, man. All right. The Lord is allowing it. This is why we must pray because we know in these last days ain't shit going to be safe. Ain't shit going to be to where you supposed to trust anybody, man. But you have me out of the and I ask him to make sure that you that you are protected and, you know, Basically, enduring the shit, hoping that you're a part of the hundred four thousand man or one third, because two thirds of our people are going, are going to be refined to silver and gold, man. They're gonna be destroyed because what? They disobeyed. They rebelled against the heavenly Father. They didn't want to understand this truth. They didn't want to stand the warning. All right, they went against the Lord. So I hope all things were edifying, man. And with that, I'm gonna end it, Shalom.